Good morning, thank you so much for the opportunity. My name is Juan Carlos Correa and I am going to talk with you about the artificial intelligence from the point of view of a bibliometric overview between 2013 and 2018. Uh, this is the agenda uh, and the motivation is what are the most dominant topics of artificial intelligence for the scientific community in the last five years? Here, I examine this question by using Bibliometrics, which, by the way, is a software tool that actually employs some artificial intelligence algorithms for analyzing bibliometric data. The um, software it was actually published in the Journal of Informetrics in 2017. This is the first page of the, of the paper, which I invite you to read um, with more uh, careful considerations after after this presentation and the idea is to use bibliometrics in combination with uh, Saimago which is um, our interesting website that provides an updated rank of scientific journals from 27 disciplines you can access Saimago just by uh, putting that um, URL in your internet browser and then you can uh, look for specific journals just typing down the words that best match with the search. In this case, I'm going to use artificial intelligence just to know the best high impact factors journals on this topic. Uh, roughly speaking, you get a list of sources, journals, conference proceedings, etc that match with the words you wrote in the search field. And in this case, by clicking on each entry, you will see the general information of the source, which actually includes the International Standard Series number. Um, so then you use Scopus and just by using the ISSN of each entry, you can uh, conduct a specific search just to know the bibliographic records uh, that these journals have published in the last five years which provide us with the opportunity to know uh, the sort of topic that these journals actually publish and here we see the um, the result we got almost 13,000 resulting documents and just by filtering out uh, the last five years between 2013 and 2018, uh, we can get a grasp of the bibliographic records that uh, correspond to the artificial intelligence research. And Scopus, you can download the selected references as BibTeX format, including the following information that you see here, the citation information, the bibliographical information, the abstract and keywords, and the references of each of these uh, uh, papers. Then in R, you can load the bibliometrics package, and then just by using BiblioShiny, you can get the following results. Here we see the contract scientific production in which uh, actually, India participates as one of the most active uh, countries that produces researches, research about uh, artificial intelligence. China as well, Australia, United States, and Germany are uh, one of the most productive countries. Here we see the country collaboration map. Here, um, curved lines represent the scientific collaboration. That means that uh, two authors from different countries appear in a single paper as co-authors of one paper. So you can get a grasp easily in this uh, map about the sort of scientific uh, collaboration that exists among uh, different countries. Uh, you can see that the United States uh, share a lot of collaboration with uh, the whole European continent and Australia man maintains a lot of collaboration with the United States and Europe, as well as China and a little bit of India. 
Also, Latin America, uh, specifically Brazil and Argentina and Chile, um, maintain uh, an important collaboration with European countries. And here we see the most relevant words. The first uh, topic in artificial intelligence, according to our search, proved to be machine learning. Then computational complexity is the second word, most important word uh, in our search. Then knowledge representation, data mining, reinforcement learning, classification, and natural language processing, as well as artificial intelligence, answer set programming, and heuristic search represent the top 10 of most relevant words when you uh, conduct a bibliometric review about artificial intelligence. And here we see a word cloud of the top 50 most used words in artificial intelligence. As you can see, semantics, algorithms, computation theory, data mining, computational linguistics, knowledge representation, heuristic algorithm, problem solving are just one of the most representative uh, topics in, in the scientific discipline of artificial intelligence. Uh, of course, we see here another um, less important or less dominant topics such as answer set programming, iterative methods, constraint satisfaction problems, Bayesian networks, ontology, robots, and so on. And here we see a um, uh, network of um, co-occurrence words, word co-occurrence. And it turns out that machine learning, decision-making, semantic web, volume, satisfiability, sentiment analysis, natural language processing, um, occupy the first cluster of interest uh, by the scientific community of artificial intelligence. Uh, the second cluster is represented by knowledge representation, belief revision, description logics, non-monotonic reasoning, answer set programming, argumentation, uh, logic programming, as well as ontologies. You can see that the links that connect uh, at least two uh, words are, um, are tell us a more interesting story about how different topics uh, combine themselves in producing uh, another uh, topic of research. And here we have the conceptual structure. We can see a clear classification of artificial intelligence in three dominant areas. In, in, the, in the red um, figure, we see topics like computational complexity, computer programming, problem solving, learning algorithm, reinforcement learning, Markov processes, Bayesian networks, heuristic algorithms. So we can see that in this uh, cluster, most of the topics are uh, focused on optimization problems and behavioral decision or assisted decision, so to speak. Then we have another cluster in green, uh, which is more applied as it focuses itself on decision making, behavioral research, social networking, um, feature extraction, learning systems, neural networks, forecasting, data mining. And these is our, and these are the, the, the techniques that we can apply in social sciences or the sort of topics that I normally investigate. And then we have another cluster in blue that um, comprises knowledge-based systems, semantics, formal logic, logic programming, answer set programming, computer circuits, knowledge of representation, formal languages, data description, and ontology. So here we uh, try to uh, differentiate different clusters of topics of interest in artificial intelligence research. Uh, the top five most cited papers in the literature that we uh, conducted are in first place a comprehensive survey of artificial bee colony algorithm and applications. The second most cited paper is Jago 2, a specially and temporally enhanced knowledge base from Wikipedia. The third 
most cited paper is a conceptual comparison of the Google search particle swarm optimization difference, differential evolution and artificial bee colony algorithm. Uh, the fourth most cited paper is framing image description as a ranking task, data models and evaluation metrics. And finally, the fifth most cited paper is sentiment analysis of short informal text. And I just want to make some final comments regarding these uh, topics as it was recently published in uh, BBC. Uh, the problem uh, that machine learning causes science crisis. Uh, actually, machine learning techniques used by thousands of scientists to analyze data are producing results that are misleading and often completely wrong. And if you go to this uh, website, you can quickly realize that it, despite the benefits that machine learning um, introduces or supposes for the scientific community, we have to make use of these technologies with caution. Open science protocols are certainly welcome to um, share with our colleagues the procedures and the algorithms and the software we use to analyze data. Um, and the more transparent and the more um, open our research protocols can be, the more the benefits for the scientific community as a whole. And this is important because at least here in, in this part of the world, in Latin America, we are not so common accustomed to teach our students the importance of open science projects. Um, I could consider myself as one of the, these professors that uh, highlight the importance of these projects. And it is important to know machine learning, artificial intelligence, data mining. Of course, they are important techniques, but we certainly need to accompany these techniques with the logic of reproducible research and open science uh, for the whole community to benefit from our efforts. Well, I hope not to uh, exceed the time for this presentation and if you have questions you can shoot you can contact me in twitter at j c o r r e a n thank you so much again for the opportunity uh, of being with for being with you today and um, have a nice day goodbye